Hello, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today, I would like to show you how to access your forms in your DocuSign account. As you can see on your screen, we're already signed into command here. We are under the Opportunities tab. We are already inside one of our opportunities here. We've gone to the Documents tab. And over here on the far right, if you've already created a DocuSign room for this opportunity, you will see the go to transaction button. If you have not created that DocuSign room just yet, it should say start transaction. Either way, go ahead and give that a click and this should take you right into your DocuSign room for this opportunity. This is the best way to access your DocuSign rooms account is straight through your opportunities and that way everything stays linked. So now that you're in here, it already brings you to the docu excuse me, Documents tab within your room. So from here, you can add forms into this room by clicking the Add button. You will see a few options like to get a form from your computer, actually get it from Zip Forms if you have a Zip Forms account linked to your DocuSign, even like Google Drive or Dropbox. But for today, I want to show you how to access those Market Center and MLS board forms by clicking on DocuSign Forms. On the left-hand side, you'll see two different lists. The first are packets, the second is libraries. The libraries were created by your MLS and these are all the forms that they are giving you access to. It can also be a library provided by your Market Center. Again, including all the forms that they're giving you access to. If you click on any of these, the forms will open over to the right you can scroll through these and check which forms you need if you'd like to do it that way or you can use your search bar here just to begin to type in whatever form you're looking for and they should populate that way. You can also choose from packets. These are based on a type of transaction as you can see buyer forms. Um, if we were to show more here and scroll down, you can see listing forms, landlord forms. These packets were created specifically by either your MLS or your market center. And so when you click on those particular packets, you can see the forms listed over to your right. You can select all, select as few as you need. You can even preview these documents here just to make sure it's what you're looking for. But once you've actually selected the document or documents that you would like to add to this room, you can click Add Selected. Gives you a green banner of a success and lets you see that that form has now been added to your room. From here, you can always click on this document and begin editing the forms, um, the fields that are on that form to get it ready. And then you can also select it and begin to create that envelope to send it out from signatures for signatures from there. If for any reason you've actually come over here to add and then DocuSign forms and you're not seeing any forms located there, I just want to show you how to make sure that your market center and your MLS board forms are already integrated into your DocuSign account. You would go right here to your initial in the top right. Click Preferences, click Integrations, and right here under Providers, you may not see anything just yet, especially if you're not seeing any forms available in your DocuSign forms. Company Forms, is that's the Market Center forms, so you can click Add Provider. We've already added ours, but I want to show you how to add that. Add provider, and right down here at the bottom, this should be blue for you. Continue to company forms without validation. By clicking this blue link right here, this window will close, and you will now see company forms listed right here under your providers. This means that now your market center forms are available within your DocuSign Room account. In some cases, your market center or Company Forms will also supply all the forms that your MLS will also give you access to as well. In some cases, it does not. These are only the Market Center forms. And then you would need to add your MLS board forms from here. In that case, you would click Add Provider. 
you can choose from one of the associations that you're a part of, California, Oregon, Texas, Northwest, or Georgia. If you do not see yours listed here, just simply click National Association of Realtors. You would enter your NRDS number, also known, known as your M1 number. You would enter the last name exactly as it appears on your real estate license. And then from here, you would choose the association that you are a part of from this list. Now, you can see it's not all the associations. These are associations that actually have an agreement with DocuSign to provide their forms to the agents through DocuSign. So you can choose your association here and click Validate. Once you do that, you would then see that your NRDS number is linked right here above company forms. It would show that that has linked you to the National Association of Realtors. And now not only will your market center forms be available, but also your MLS board forms will be available for you as well. If you have any questions at all about adding this, or maybe you have a question about your NRDS number, you can always reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'll be happy to take a look for you. You can also click add provider. And when we choose National Association of Realtor, you can also choose right here, find your member ID. If you are not familiar with your NRDS number or your M1 number, once you click that link, it will bring you right over to the National Association of Realtors. And you have two ways to actually look up that member ID for you. But again, you can always reach out to us, support at scottleroymarketing.com, and we'll be happy to see how we can assist you. Thanks for watching.